RevivalHouse.net here with a commentary. We're going to be doing um, a movie that's, I don't know, I think it's often forgotten, but uh, it's a movie I used to watch all the time. They used to play it all the time on USA Up All Night, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it was one of Jim Carrey's earlier roles. And I, it, we're, we're doing Once Bitten, the vampire movie. I, I don't know if it- Once Bitten. You say this gets forgotten a lot, and I forget about this shit. So I don't right. know if it was, was this pre-Living uh, Color? Was this during a Living Color? Probably. Well, I, I was asking you, you're the encyclopedia. I wanted you to give me a definitive answer. Maybe a little bit after, it's hard to tell him. But we, we, what year was it? Let's figure that out, because obviously he blew up in 94, right? 93, 94 was like- oh. Mm -hmm. He was he was in the stratosphere, but it's kind of before all that, and I don't really want to waste any time. Uh, I, I, we'll go ahead and Zach. Zach was frustrated because I kept him waiting once again. Uh, yeah, this we motherfucker. He's like, oh yeah, we're gonna start recording at seven o'clock. It's eight fucking oh four p.m. right now. This motherfucker kept me waiting a whole hour, and then the motherfucker shows up. And then he's like, oh, I got to eat and shit. Fuck this motherfucker. Let's start this shit. Man, fuck you, you little dipshit. <laughs> Do you call moi a dipshit? Man, <laughs> grab this guy. Can you do this guy? Uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to make uh, the princess wait any longer. We're going to do a three, two, one play. And we're just going to start talking about this shit. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Are you ready to get once bitten? Yes, motherfucker. Three, two, one, play. Oh, hell yeah. We seen this fucking tiger. He's gonna roar and shit. Fuck Zach that tiger. Go, Zach didn't go to fucking preschool. That's not a tiger. It's a lion. Oh, it's a lion, motherfucker. You're right, motherfucker. Oh, is this he a was, Disney logo? I thought this it, was Disney. It did. It looked like it was gonna turn into the Kermit the Frog fucking Disney shit. It's the uh, same fucking color. You were lying to me that that was a tiger. You were lying to me. I was lying. So, and we forgot to mention, but this is on Amazon Prime, uh, so if you guys want to follow along, I don't even think this is on Blu-ray, so, I, I, or anything, I mean, I don't even know if it got a DVD release, I don't think I've ever seen it on DVD, have you? It, uh, Shout Factory put out a double feature with this and something else recently. Was it, did they put it a double feature with, like, Teen Wolf 2? Because I know they got their own Teen Wolf, like, collector's edition, but I gotta say, this movie reminds me of Teen Wolf. It's not the exact same story, but you have a teenager that's making a transformation, in this case a vampire, and uh, his his object of his affection is somebody else, yet he has a best friend that's a female that, you know, f uh, that that, uh, that uh, desires him from afar, and they eventually get together, you know? Yeah, that little Marty McFly, he's a dumb fuck. He could have been fucking that chick the whole time, and Boof. he was... He was saving himself for the blonde chick. I would have been fucking booping the ass. <laughs> Fuck, fuck boop in the poop box. Exactly. I said that really loud in the mic. Boop. Sorry, I'm not going to do that anymore. The Yeti machete. Yeah, that was, that was totally uh, off topic, but I was doing my my little check when I'm like making sure all my recording stuff's working and I'm making sure I'm, I'm hooked up with my Yeti and I'm going through all the presets. And I literally was like, okay, mic check, microphone Yeti check, microphone machete check. And I said microphone machete just out of habit because it rhymed. It was like microphone Yeti, microphone machete. What if that's what he meant the whole time? We didn't know. What know, if man. we're stupid he's, and, he's, and he actually made sense? Adonis. Exactly. So when's the first time you saw this? Uh, probably like three years ago. I didn't see this as a kid. This movie came out in 85, by the way. I thought I it said directed. I, oh, I said this movie came out in 85. Did you hear me now? I do now. And then I, I was I was gonna say I saw director Howard Storm and I thought it said Howard Stern at first. I was like, that motherfucker directed movies. Eighty five. So that's a that predates in Lemon Color, does it not? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up right now. So yeah, Zach went mute for a second there. I don't know what happened, and uh, 
I, I apologize. I had a mouthful of steak and in, 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 you know going on, and I don't like to eat when I record, so I was trying to sneak a second and do it outside of the mic, but I think I failed because I had to get Zach's attention. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. you can hear it. Mm-hmm. So I assure you I'm not uh, doing anything sexual over here. I'm just eating. Let's see in living color. You ever see the movie Earth Girls Are Easy with Jim Carrey and Jeff Goldblum? Yeah, A Living Color didn't air until 1990, and it ran to 94. Is this really 85, or is Amazon fucking off? No, it's 80. I'm looking on IMDb. Wow. Did you ever see the the uh, the Jim Carrey classic Rubber Face? Absolutely not. Yeah, it's not it's not funny, but I, I actually I don't remember much about it, but I remember like. All of a sudden, that it was in like the fucking video store. I guess I think it was back when Jim Carrey had a movie coming out, and they were like, "Let's take an old Jim Carrey movie, we'll put it like on the new releases shelf. People think it's new, and they'll they'll rent it because it's got that guy in it." And it was called Rubber Face, and I just remember looking at the front of it and laughing my ass off. Just it's called Rubber Face. Look at the cover of it. Was it just him doing his famous like weird face where he contorts his face? Yeah, he's just doing his goofy face, and I used to laugh at it. I'm gonna check it out. This is uh, Jim Carrey before he became a nutball. Totally crazy. He's been all crazy like Illuminati lately. Yeah, he's weird now. He has smoked himself retarded. <laughs> what do you think is up with him? Do you think he's just a uh, quote unquote woke, as all the kids say, or do you think he's just fucking? Fried? I think he. I think he's just faking a mental breakdown after all that shit came him? out. You after, think he's faking a mental breakdown? Yeah, after all that shit came out about his uh, the ex and her killing herself, and yeah, that's got to be rough though, man. You know, because I don't know if he. I, I don't know if he. He's got it. I think he acted like he had a clean conscience and he was fighting it in court that, you know, the drugs weren't his, that she stole the drug, you know, but basically like he's not responsible for her death, but man, he sure is acting like he's fucking got a, some shit going on. You know, he, he's acting like he's not okay. Mm-hmm. I listened to him on Norm McDonald's podcast. He had him on for the full hour, hour and a half or whatever, like a couple weeks ago. And, uh, it was interesting. He was kind of interesting on that too. But uh, he kept going on with that same shit. I'm not here. This is not real. You're not real. I'm not real. This desk is not real. We are molecules oh, in space. It was it was weird. None of this matters. You yeah, know I mean? it does. And if I guess I was, if I was feeling guilty at potentially doing some harm to somebody I cared about. Yeah, I'd probably be in denial about none of that mattering either. Like, you know what? That's how I can get over this. None of it matters because we're not real. We're on an astral plane. Mm hmm. But who knows? I, I feel bad for him. Do you think he? he I, I don't mean to take it to a dark place, but doesn't he kind of seem like I, when I was when I was watching that interview uh, with Norm and also that one that everybody was talking about where he was like on the red carpet, you know, circling that one chick like a fucking hyena, you know, and doing yeah. his weird shit. There was lots of comments uh, posted to the effect of like Robin Williams, like, man, he's going to kill himself in the next two years. Mark my words. He'll be the next one to commit suicide, you know? Yeah, I got that feeling watching him. It's weird. He does have that weird vibe about him. I mean, what's he doing? When's the last time he came out of the movie? Uh, that fucking the the new batch or whatever that has Keanu. That's Reeves Gremlins in too. It. it has the Reeves in it also. It, it's on Netflix now. It's the Bad Batch or the, something like that. Oh, it's actually out. Yeah, I just saw it on Netflix. Did it have good reviews? I don't know. I I didn't watch it. I have it in my list, though. Well, if it's got the Reeves and Jim Carrey, man, I don't know why you're not on it. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have a cream sickle? Oh my God! It's fucking Joey from Friday Thirteenth Part Five. Oh, it is that motherfucker with the candy bar. That yeah. motherfucker. He's responsible. So the, the guy, he can't. He can't get the chicks, man. He just wants that. He just wanted that one chick to treat him like a normal guy. Yeah, and because of him, that fucking guy went at him with the axe, and his dad went crazy, and fucking started dressing up like Jason and shit. I want to know how his dad slimmed down so much to fit into the Jason costume. Because that guy was fatter than Jason was when we saw him later in the movie. I wonder if Jim Carrey denounces this movie, like a lot of people denounce early roles in their career, you know? Particularly like horror. I know this is kind of like a teen comedy. I don't know. 
if he doesn't denounce Rubberface, I don't know why he'd denounce this. He didn't denounce Rubberface? I don't know. I never heard him talk about it. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure if you asked him about this movie or any other movie, he'd say the same thing nowadays. It's not real. None of it's real. <laughs> that that movie it. doesn't exist. He says that about all his fucking movies. But isn't that weird? He literally went fucking cuckoo crazy in just the last couple of years because he was you know, normal Jim. He was normal Jim Carrey when Dumb and Dumber 2 came out. I just thought, what if it's just a fucking troll? What if he's preparing for another crazy role? Like, uh, what if Dumb and Dumber 2 did it to him? <laughs> what if he's he's preparing to man? He's preparing for Man on the Moon Part Two, mm-hmm. and he's just kind of getting into into character. Oh, that guy's ass cheeks. Yeah, I wanted to fuck him. You want to slather some mayonnaise in between them buns? Hell yeah. Did you ever see the movie Heavenly Kid? No. Oh, man, it's so good. You got to watch it. It's What's amazing. About? It's about, like, this kid. It, it was kind of banking off, like, Back to the Future and shit like that. Because this kid... Or, no, it starts out with... Uh, a, it, the dad character he's like it's like back in the 50s he's like a greaser and they're they're playing like a game of chicken off like going off the cl- a big cliff in their town and they're like supposed to jump out or whatever but he like fucks up and like he tries to jump out but he gets stuck and so he dies and then he goes to heaven and like th- these two angels are like yeah you gotta you gotta go back down to earth and take you gotta be like the guardian angel of this kid and you find out later that it's his son and like a bunch of years have passed and shit. It's pretty good. It, this um, that scene with the car rocking back and forth reminded me of a scene from that movie. It's got this great fucking like eighties hair metal song at the end. It's like, oh my way, where I want to be. <laughs> What's it called? I'm gonna look it up right now. The Heavenly Kid. Not out. Not out on Blu-ray. Oh, I've seen this movie a million places. I've always seen this uh, cover. It's just never uh, It's dank as fuck. Thou shalt be cool. Exactly. Lewis Smith and Jason Gedrick. That was a movie that me and Mac, like we 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 both saw it as kids, and like we never knew what it was called. So back when Google first came out, we used to go on there and we'd like we uh, type in the only couple scenes we remembered, like. Oh yeah, guy in a leather jacket comes back from heaven, and at the end he goes up an escalator, and he goes to heaven at the end. And it you ruined never, it for me. Yeah, why do I want to watch it now? Oh, that's that's not a spoiler, but yeah, it would never tell us because we weren't specific enough, I guess. There's another movie that kind of reminds me of a. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh, have you ever seen the Robert Downey Jr. movie, Heart and Souls? I've heard of it. And he's like, it's it's like a similar type of concept where he's got the guardian angels. Um, and one of them's Charles Grodin. There's, there are a few different people. Um, yeah, it's kind of a cheesy. It's an early 90s movie, but it totally plays off like an 80s movie. Yeah, I forgot. There, there was a, that, was, that was a popular subgenre, like angel movies, mm-hmm. wasn't it? There's a he- few of those. Heaven Can Wait was one, I remember. Heaven Can Wait was one of them. Um, do you remember that movie, My Boyfriend's Back? That's not really the same thing, but about the boyfriend that comes back from the dead. I do, yeah. Vaguely. What is this, like, Chi and Chong, Nice Dreams? He's driving an ice cream truck. There's nice a lion. Chi and Chong, Nice Dreams, starring uh, Paul Rubens, the great Paul Rubens. Is that the one with him in it? I think it is. I he's, think so. He's in the next movie, and he actually plays Pee Wee Herman in the movie. He's in what now? The movie, the movie called ne- Cheech and Chong's next movie. Oh, he plays. I'm sorry. I'm he, really, really, really sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I truly am. Yeah. Why haven't we done fucking Big Adventure yet? I think we should. And um. I don't want to do Big Top Pee Wee, man. That movie's just a fucking drag. I, I've never sat through that whole movie. Ooh, it's just a drag, man. But I love. Did you watch Big? Did you Did you watch Big? I Holiday? still I still haven't finished it. 
that that would be a fun commentary too. I think it'd be fun to do both of them. But uh, you know, because Big Holiday uh, captures the original one, right? They're just kind of like playing it safe and kind of capturing the spirit of the original, following the same formula, road trip movie type of thing. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he's got a different destination, but uh, you know, it's parallel, and they do a really good job. And like I think I said on the last podcast, it's. I don't know. I have, I don't. I can't. There's nothing bad to say about the movie. There's like one scene that I think they could have cut out because it's just like Pee Wee's Big Adventure, where he goes on this road trip and along the way he meets a bunch of crazy characters, right? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Uh, and there's just one character he meets where it's kind of pointless. Like, ah, oh, they just need to trim that out. He meets like a Paul Bunyan like character living in the woods. Mm. Th- that's the only scene I think they should have taken out. But does he ever run back? Does he ever run back into the fucking killer from the first movie? That he picked up. It's it's Pee Wee. It's a difference. It's there, none of those movies are canon. Yeah, like he lives in a totally different city. He has a totally different job. Um, so it's it just like in Pee Wee's fucking uh, Big Top Pee Wee. Different. He always has like a different career. It's kind of like Ernest, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like Ernest always lives somewhere completely different. It's just a character in a different universe. Um, speaking of uh, Ernest, not to go off the beaten path too much, but. I was saying something to you before we started recording because uh, you made a Miak line or something. And I was like, oh, I learned something about that movie. Uh, Ernest Scared oh, yeah, Stupid. Yeah, that yeah. So they re- they reused some of the Chiodo brothers clowns from Killer Clowns from Outer Space as uh, some of the goblins or trolls. Sorry, really? trolls in that movie. Yeah. They just put more makeup on it and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And I learned that by watching uh, <laughs> Angry Video Game Nerd because they have the Cinemassacre... Uh, uh, he was doing. He does like movie reviews yeah, during Halloween yeah, time. Yeah, I always love watching his uh, things during October. And he, his uh, his newest one is Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and he's the one that brings it up. And he shows screenshots of the. And I'm like, what the fuck? He shows the trolls, and they are. It's the same. It's the skinny clown. They just like dock him up and make him up to look like a troll, and put regular looking makeup on him. And and it is. It's like the same body and shit. There's two of them. There's two of them that he screen capped that are directly from the movie. Yeah. And they just uh, redo them. It was funny. It was interesting. That's cool. It's interesting. I, I would have never caught that. I want to. Fu- I want them to fucking the, make another. The Chiodo Brothers movie. did the makeup for Ernest Scared Stupid, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the connection. I want them to make another fucking Critters movie. I would come. See, I'm surprised. I mean, that's not going to be the kind of movie I expect to get like the big Hollywood reboot treatment. But I'm surprised that somebody hasn't run into the ground like. Puppet Master, or Demonic Toys, or Hellraiser, and just release some Corey mm-hmm. Feldman starred <laughs> director sci-fi channel Critters movie. Well, they did Demonic Toys and Puppet Master with Corey, but Feldman. not Critters. But I mean, like the equivalent to Critters. Yeah. Like, I'm, like that franchise is totally just dormant. It's not doing. No one's no, no one's doing anything with it. Like two years ago, I remember seeing on IMDb that they were going to make a TV series, and it's, it's still nothing came out of that. What about the Tremors TV series? Yeah, I, I've heard they're making that too. Starring Kevin Bacon. Mm-hmm. That'll be interesting to see him come back. Now he's not too good for the horror, is he? Yeah. They always they always come around. When when fucking Well, it's the it's a case that you see the people on your way back down. You know, it's just like Yeah. I mean Jamie Jamie Lee Curtis is the same way. She's mm-hmm. not exactly in a shit ton of movies or anything. I wanted. I, I was wanting to watch uh, True Lies again recently, and it, it's not even on Vudu. You can't get the really HD version on Vudu. That's lame, man. That was, if I'm not incorrect, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger's second biggest hit behind T2. Really? Yeah. It, yeah. It was. Just, it was the big block because it was the follow up. It was James Cameron's follow up to T2. Yeah, and it was a it was a big success. Uh, that's kind of funny. Like, like last night I was like half asleep, and Josh James he sent me a message. He's like, "What's what's voodoo? You guys talk about?" And like, he wrote he wrote it like voodoo v o o. So I was just like, "What's he talking about?" Like I was half asleep, but like I ended up falling asleep again. And then later on, like just a couple hours ago, I, I remembered that he sent me that, and I was like, "What the fuck was he talking about?" I better ask him like what episode he's referring to. And then I asked him, and then I remembered, like, oh, voodoo, the V-U-D-U. The fucking yeah, you know website. that thing, Josh, when you buy Blu-rays and it says voodoo on every single one of them? Yeah, that, that's funny, because for the longest time, I didn't give a shit about those either. 
I didn't either. It's just like you see ultraviolet on some, you see voodoo on some. Yeah, I was turned off of it. That's kind of why it was, it's that's kind of why it's so confusing too, because there's no one name that they all. Well, kinda. and it was a turnoff too, because it's like I just want one universal platform. I'm not going to start a collection that I can only watch on iTunes. I'm not going to start a collection that I can only watch on ultraviolet. I'm not going to start a collection that I can only watch on voodoo. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's cool that ultraviolet and voodoo combined. Yeah. But still, I went through all my movies. I was trying to upload them all to voodoo, and there was. A, a huge chunk of them, the digital copies were only iTunes. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah I think the, that was a uh, kind of not like the more uh, modern version is Voodoo, and like whenever the, the digital copies first came out, they were like a disc, another disc in the in the case. Oh, and they were like, like legit. You, and you literally just upload them, put them on your computer. Yeah, like. But a lot of them are still iTunes. Um, and I like the ones where they give you the choice because some of the new ones will give you a choice. You can pick which one you want. Yeah. Or some of them will be like, you can have iTunes and you can have your choice plus of one of these other two. So it's like, just just make it universal. Like, it's so stupid. Disney does it too because Disney has their own their their own thing too. Yeah, I saw that, that just kind of, uh, they're showing it on Voodoo too that you can link that to Voodoo. Whatever but what sucks is it doesn't work, man, because I have some movies that are only on the Disney thing and I can't get the link thing work. It's like it might work going forward, but it will not sync all your pre existing. I can't get anything to. I have some stuff that I had on Ultraviolet that's on Ultraviolet that will not go over to Voodoo to save my life, even though they're synced. Hmm. Yeah, it's that's weird. weird. And, yeah, and some movies just didn't go. Like, some of them did, but just some movies won't go. I'm like, all right, that's fucked up. That kind of makes me worry, like, getting into the voodoo thing and getting moved. Because I like, nine times out of ten, I'll buy something on there if it's not out on Blu-ray. And, like, with all the stuff that's going on, like, oh, yeah. Are, are they going to, is, like, the net neutrality shit going to change? Are we going to have to start paying more for certain websites? And that'll really suck if, like, voodoo... Is one that you have to pay more, even though you've already paid for the movies themselves. What you have to like start paying for the service? Yeah, like bought? like more for like the fast lane type of shit. Like, because if if they start running it more like the cable company, I assume they would probably treat Netflix and things like that like premium cable or movie channels or whatever. You know. Well, I, it's just the. The streaming services were so, were such a cheaper alternative than having cable. I haven't had cable and all that shit in years and years and years. But all, even that shit's getting more expensive. You know, I get it. They're all going to inflate. But, you know, Netflix just raised their prices again. They announced. Yeah, God. They just, they, they increased it by a dollar last year. And now it's going up $2 this year. Yeah, it's it's literally 10 fucking bucks now. I know, but like, I have the, you have a four, I have a 4K TV. So I, I would pay for the extra, uh, dollar or whatever for the the 4k yeah streaming but now my service is going from like 11 to 13 really it's yeah. just like now it's like it's like okay so i pay 13 dollars for that i have amazon the hulu's gonna go up too it's just like and hulu's just a shit fest anyway half the time like it just doesn't work yeah i i, I always hear from people that they're like it's the most like faulty uh, like app for something that you actually have to pay for it crashes nonstop, and I, you know what, I'm thinking about because they just uploaded all the Miller Boyette TV shows to Hulu, right? From yeah, uh, you know, and Boy Meets World two, Perfect Strangers, uh, Step by Step. That's I've cool. been watching, full, uh, yeah, all of them. Urkel, it's cool. Remember the but freaking I, redheaded chick from the later seasons of uh, Boy Meets World? Oh yeah, the the one that was friends with Eric and uh, yeah, she yeah. was hot. She she fucking like. She be, she became like one of the chicks on White Chicks, one of those weird looking chicks that the Wayne's brothers imitate. Oh really? Yeah, she changed like her look changed completely. But anyway, so it crashes all the time, and then with Full House, right? You'll we'll say you just want to binge watch it, watch a few episodes every time. An episode ends. It just it does it will not just load up the next episode like it's supposed to. Yeah. It always errors and closes out. Every so every time you finish an episode, I have to restart it. I have that problem because I got it because I heard like oh yeah the the outer limits and you know Twilight Zone and all this night galleries on there and I had the same problem so I could it's justify annoying. keeping it. It's it's just it, yeah I can't believe it's as faulty as it is and it's it's everywhere it's every platform. 
I ended up just buying the fucking box sets of Night Gallery and shit rather than keep paying for it. Yeah. Well, while I'm uh, while I'm kind of into all these Miller Boyette shows because there's a shit ton now. It's like man, there's so many shows I want to watch. I am tempted to pay the extra two bucks to say no commercials. Oh yeah, it's almost worth because maybe that's why it's failing. The because com- because half the time it's when the commercials air. That mm-hmm. shit goes bad. That's, probably, that's probably what they want. That's what that was the whole point the whole time. Those fuckers. No, because the commercials will play, and then one of the commercials won't load, and then you'll have to fucking restart the app, and then when you do, you have to watch the commercial again. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you cannot avoid the commercial, and sometimes you just get into it. You end up having to watch way more commercials than you even should. So I'm curious. You know, two bucks a month is is worth it if I'm going to binge all these shows. I'll just pay two bucks, and I'll experiment with it. I don't give a fuck. I'll see what's up. And see if I have any problems with it. But if I do that, then it's like, well, I'm paying 12 bucks for Hulu, 13 bucks for Netflix. I got it, Amazon it does, Prime. Man, it adds up. It, now, it's, now it's like, well, I feel like I have cable again. Yeah. And then I, I shudder to think of having HBO and Star and all. Everybody's got their app now. Now Disney's getting in the game because Disney soon is going to remove all their shit from Netflix and Hulu. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Because they're, they're they're launching their own streaming service that's going to try and compete. So right now they have they have Mighty Ducks, Cool, uh, cool Runnings, they have they have Mulan, they have all these Disney movies on Netflix and Hulu. They're going to get ripped off on it. I don't remember what the date was. And now if you want to watch anything Disney, whether it be heavyweights, whatever, it's all going over. That might be kind of tempting if they really have all their shit on there, right? I actually can't imagine like paying. Just for one, you know, uh, company, company of movies. Yeah. No, Having I can't either. I, I don't want to sit there and pay fucking ten dollars for that shit. But if if they're going to have their own streaming service, they better come out swinging and it better be super robust because they're the one company that probably can fill out a pretty good streaming service worth of material. Right. Yeah. Because think about it. They own Buena Vista. They own all these different subsidiaries. Yeah. So maybe it really could be something else, but that's going to. I mean, Netflix is luck- lucky they're so strong in the uh, original content game because when Netflix, when, when Disney pulls, think about it, Disney would pull all the animated movies, the live action Disney brand movies, Buena Vista, Touchstone. They would take all the Marvel movies, everything, the Star Wars movies, everything they own. Yeah, that's a lot. And so, I mean, Netflix is lucky. They're so they're, Netflix is pretty much going to go to is, is pretty much a cable channel. It's just like, hey, we're all about our they've been moving towards this anyway. Mm hmm. I actually, uh, I called because I still have cable because it's like with my internet. I yeah. called to see how much it costs to add HBO. And they're like, they said, uh, like 18 bucks. So the app mm. is, is, uh, a little cheaper. Yeah. $16. The app is $16? Yeah, I think so. They're not even, so they're not even competitive in like the $10 range? $15.99. Fuck, man. Yeah, it sucks. That That is so much. Yeah, no thanks, man. I mean, because you want to watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, I mean, I'll wait till... I know I, you want to support it, and I want to support it, too, but that's just too much. I'll, mm. I'll wait till it's all done, and I'll get the free trial. I'll binge it. And if I really love it, I'll buy the Blu-ray. I have every season on, on this. Well, they got every other season on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I'm working on the acid rain problem. I think all of them. Yeah, yeah, all of them. I binged it earlier uh, last year. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised HBO doesn't yank all their shit from Amazon. Yeah, and 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 make their uh their HBO app even more robust because I think you can. Like I think uh no, I mean I think all their I think all their shit original programming is on the app too, but I don't know why they don't take it off Amazon to make their I think I read that because it's ne- keeping people away. I think I read that next year everything like the wire and shit is is leaving, so it'll probably it, just it, be on there. Just it, yeah, because the wire's on there, Oz is on there, Eastbound and Down, uh, Kirby Enthusiasm, and that's just lame, man. Because I don't want it to, I don't want it to split off to where you would have to have everybody's fucking service. I mean, fuck that. I'll just I'll be content with Blu-rays. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember, like, I, it's been a while since I've seen this, but I, I, I remember what's going on, like, him and his buddies. Sorry, is he like, doing, is he practicing for his future, future scene of, people are real friendly around here, <laughs> and Ace Ventura? 
He grabs she, the ceiling. Yeah, if she bit his cock. I'd let her. They should have gave this role this black guy to Tommy Davison. Who's that? <laughs> uh, he was uh, an alumni of uh, uh, Living Color as well, and he's also oh, yeah. um, White Devil, fucking uh, Ace Ventura too. Hey. Oh. Oh yeah! <laughs> Don't mess with the do. La cuchilla. Yeah, exactly. Look at this guy. Looks like Jason Biggs. Mm -hmm. No, nah, not really. Not anymore. He, yeah, he kind of did. For a second there, he had the schnoz. Whatever happened to that motherfucker? He's on Orange Is New Black, dude. Oh, is he? Yeah, he got lucky. Found a job. He played the the voice of like Donatello or someone on like the Nickelodeon the first like two seasons. Yeah, of the he was he was reduced to fucking voiceover work. I he, think he, Sean Astin was one of the voices too. Yeah, him too. He joined him in uh, the Purgatory Hell, known as uh, voiceover work. You know, when he, I don't even think that'd be that bad of a job, really. No, it'd be a great job, but it's kind of like the place you go to die. Because yeah. it's like when you're when you have some sort of success in Hollywood, you'll always have a guaranteed safety net career in voice work. Right. Yeah. That's great. But it is it is like low tier, let's be mm -hmm. honest. Yeah. And and all those people that were in Hollywood movies, they started taking those jobs because that used to be a fucking realm of its own. People used to just be legit voice actors. Yeah. Um, now, like D grade Hollywood goes and takes all those jobs, which I miss. I prefer all those video game actors too. I hate that all these celebrities are coming in and doing game work. Yeah, puts them out of work. And and it's not just uh, it's not just video games. I read an interview with uh, John Bush. You know, the he's the singer of Armored Saint, and he was the second sing he was the third singer of Anthrax. He replaced Joey Belladonna. You know, in the nineties. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with him at all? Yeah. Okay, I'm a big fan of his. Anyway, he left when he left that band. He was doing um, voiceover work. He got he got into voiceover acting, the singer of fucking Armored Saint Anthrax, and he was doing he was the voiceover guy for Burger King, mm. and he was doing commercials like you know, and he's like, yeah, it's a good feeling. And somebody asked him in an interview lately um, about you know how that goes, and he's like, yeah, it's kind of drying up. And he 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 said it was the same thing as like what we're talking about with video games and cartoons. He's like, now everybody wants it's like back in the day, Hollywood they didn't touch commercials. That was seen as like low tier, whatever, yeah. and that and, and we were our own thing. And um, now everybody, every fucking buddy and their mom wants to do commercials. And you do. He's like, when you have fucking Matthew McConaughey driving a Lincoln on TV, Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey driving a Lincoln on TV, and you have, uh, I mean, I saw a commercial the other day. Who was in it? Oh, they got a a whiskey. I think it's a whiskey commercial with Jeff Bridges. <laughs> It's like it, when, it, he's like now we can't compete and none of us are getting work anymore because it's like now they can get fucking this guy right mm -hmm. and uh, so it, it, he's like yeah it just kind of puts all those guys out of work he's like lucky for me you know I do the music thing but primarily I have a business he's like I have a business with my wife we're okay but the people that just do that they're getting fucked mm -hmm. you know now you see all these people these voice actors what do they do they do conventions yeah. that's their that's their money it's like yeah I used to be. This guy on this cartoon in fucking 1995. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I like all the voice actors like uh, Otacon and shit and the Metal Gear people. Mm -hmm. right? Fuck Kiefer Sutherland. You remember anything? I'm pretty sure David Hayter could have made all those facial expression expressions just fine. He said he needed a real actor to really convey the message emotionally. I'm like, did you even let him try? Yeah. It's like, you know, David Hayter never got to make a game with you when this technology existed to this degree. They actually, I remember hearing that they were trying to get rid of David Hayter even back during the third game. Mm -hmm. Like they wanted to bring in uh, the, the actual uh, guy it was made after. Who was it? What's his name? From uh, Escape from New York. Oh, fucking uh, uh, Kurt Russell. Yeah. Well,. I think uh, Kojima wanted him different because he wanted to differentiate him from Big Boss. Yeah. Which makes sense. But I think it was the studios that said it's too different too fast because the game's different. Like the style of the game's different. The setting's different. And you want to change the mascot. It's too much of a drastic change. Right. And they, I think they felt it was the safe thing to still make him look like the classic snake. Right. Mm -hmm. To sell it. Which makes sense. But I don't know. 
Well, whatever. I mean, if it's a different character, who gives a fuck? It is. It's Big Boss. Totally different character, different people. Yeah. That's the, that's really the thing that fucking makes it weird. Had they done that from the get-go, had they made Snake, uh, Big Boss, a different voice actor and a li- look a little different from the get-go with 3 and Peace Walker, it wouldn't even be an issue. Like, oh, like we get it, you know, because they could have had a different guy in three and then they had David Hayter back in four and it would have been it would have made sense. It's just that that they, you know, Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hey, look, there's a movie on. Yeah. Did you play uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid five at all? Yeah, I just I just downloaded it. I mean, I know we're kind of talking into game territory right now, but it's uh, the free game on the PS plus right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, I literally just downloaded it uh, the other day and installed it today. So, and I'm probably still not going to play it for a long time. You I just, should, I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to invest. You should try Ground Zeroes. You'll probably beat it in like an hour or two. Well, that's another thing too. I don't want to play this without Ground Zeroes because I feel like I should play Ground Zeroes first, right? Mm-hmm. So I still feel like I want to buy the definitive edition or whatever on PS4 with all of it. I still kind of want to play it like that. Yeah. So let's see if I remember the plot so far. He and his buddies went to like a strip club, and this this chick took her took him back to her house, and she bit his dick, and now he's a vampire. I think he got it, but it's because yeah. he's a virgin. Is it does uh, her doing that with a virgin? Does that like help her youth? I think maybe it's, it's what keeps her alive. She's uh, like but Elizabeth ha- Bathory, but she's got to suck the cum out of his dick. Those and little it, burgers. Mm, oh. it, it helps her pores. Yeah, that wasn't even like cooked, man. Why? Yeah, no. Why? Why is she so mad? He gonna get sick, man. He gonna get really sick. I always, I love like in the eighties that uh, fucking these people could double as high school kids. It's funny because, like, I remember uh, when I was in like fifth grade, like uh, my mom used to drive me to school, and we we pass the high school, and I'd be like, "These chicks don't look like they're in high school; they look too young." Why they do that? Yeah. <laughs> Why no, they do uh, they, that? No, but no, I I I think I mean I know they always cast kids always, but I feel like nowadays in big movies they're casting more and more kids of the age, right? Yeah, I don't like it. I they think- they are more and more. The you know if you go see the, if you like I said if you see the new Spider Man Homecoming, the movie's all about high school kids, the whole thing, and they're all fucking high school kids. I think that's why they they refrain from hiring real kids in the eighties because watching kids is annoying. I don't want to listen to kids talk about well pro- problems. Another reason too is because a lot of those eighties uh, high school movies were like sex comedies, and they were talking about sex and hormones. They yeah. can't really put a bunch of young kids in that movie, you know? Mm-hmm. We gotta have adults portraying it. I mean, cause that'd be pretty wrong. Like, well, think about it. You watch Super Bad, dude, and you got the, you got these kids making all these dick jokes and talking about sucking dick and all and doing all these things they do. You can't do that. Yeah. I think all the kids in the new It movie should have been like fucking 25. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't look like a fucking high school kid at all. Yeah. She's twenty five minimum. And I don't want to talk about it. How old is Jim Carrey here? Thirty two years ago? He looks at least Yeah, twenty five, twenty six. Remember she bit the buttons off my shirt. And the next thing I remember Bit the buttons off my shirt. Sebastian? See, so she wants to sleep with him, but he don't think of her as anything more than a friend. I'd be like Hey, come over here and sit on my fucking face, baby. Yeah, Jim Carrey was uh, 23. He looks older. Yeah, he's crazy, man. What guy turns down any chick in high school? Like, yeah. you know, that's 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 got a heartbeat and is half decent. Like, and she's, you know, attractive. She's she's spunky. Oh, I would let her shit in my mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like the Ranjan. I told you about the Ranjan, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You really should, dude. That should be a script you write. I'm going to write a movie about the Ranjan. It'll be like the Babadook, but it'll be about the fucking pig that shits in your mouth in your but, sleep. But play it like the like the character that's basically written as you. It, he thinks it's funny, but then it actually he starts... like he, It could be like a myth that was around for a long time, but then 
the parents censored it because the fear is what keeps them there. That's what you could do. <laughs> they they had to fucking censor it, and the kid he he heard one of the parents talk about it, and it, you know it came back. I'd have to change the name of the creature though, otherwise that's intellectual property of that fucking three year old. <laughs> like uh, I'd have to like just change the name of that. Yeah. But the I've I've always known it as the Ranjan. <laughs> I don't even know what it fucking means. That is a he word. like wrote it. He like wrote it down crayon like red rum backwards letters and shit. <laughs> Ranjan. Like, that's like, with crayons. Like what the fuck is that? That's funny you mentioned that because uh, I, I I'm kind of like stoked because I found out. Remember how I, I'd tell you like yeah, there's no like movie theaters around me that show like old movies and stuff like that. I recently found out that there's a fucking uh, a drive in theater like 30 minutes away from me and and tonight they're actually showing a triple feature of like the exorcist the new it movie and uh the shining and i was like holy crap i didn't even know so i'm I, i'm looking forward to like what they show halloween i might go check it out i thought you were going to see a double feature of a uh, nightmare on elm street and yeah that's the one i'm talking about so yeah I, i'm when is that that's uh next week so, so and i don't know what like the Halloween weekend would what they'd show. That's cool. Yeah, I found out we have a drive-in theater here too. I didn't know. There's one in um uh, there's one like 15 20 miles away. So, uh and my my brother who lives somewhat in the area, he went and saw the new It movie there at the drive-in. I've never been to a drive-in. I have once. I saw Holes. The fucking Holes. Uh, the, the, it sounds like a porno, dude. It was just Shia LaBeouf, baby. And um, is his dad gonna? Is his dad here gonna reveal that he's also a vampire? Yeah, like uh, like Teen Wolf. Did this come he's, out? Before he's the, or he's after the concerned Teen dad. Wolf. He's the concerned dad, just like the Teen Wolf dad. Um, that's a good point. This is nice. This is earlier than I thought it was. So let me see. You know what? It might not have because Teen Wolf eighty five. Let's see. Yeah, we were actually gonna do Teen Wolf at one point. That's on Amazon Prime too. It's sad when I Google Teen Wolf, all I get is stuff about the MTV show. Yeah. This came out in 85 also. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, see, that just goes to tell you the studios, uh, rival studios always have similar scripts. And then whenever one releases one or they announce they're releasing it, they hurry up and they fast track there so they compete, can compete. That's why you always see a lot of the movies that are very similar come out at the same time. Yeah, you know they're always they, everybody's sitting on stockpiles of scripts and they kind of keep them at the ready. It's it's why when the Illusionist came out, they hurry up and fast tracked and had the Prestige came out and they were in the theaters at the same time. The fucking Illusionist and the Prestige. You really think that's a coincidence that we have two like fucking nineteenth century magician movies? Yeah, they're like my a, ass. They're like fucking the, the Asylum, the Mockbuster movies. You ever see any of those? Uh uh-uh. uh At the video store, like back, like. I don't know. There, there isn't really video stores anymore. But back in the day, like I remember, they'd have like the generic shitty version of a movie that like was big. Like when the Omen remake came out, they had like a movie called Six Six Six: The Child, and it was just made to like look like that. And most of the time, though, they would try to have audio mo- keeps going out. Oh, sorry. Most of the time, they'd have the most similar titles po- as possible, so that like. Like, like, uh, Pacific Rim. Oh, yeah. Remember that movie? They, it, they yeah. had one called Pacific. They, they had one that had, like, the same title. The, like, one word was different. So that they'd both be sitting next to each other on the rack at the video store. Yeah. And they'd hope that, like, an old... Somebody would get, get it wrong. Yeah, a geriatric old woman would come in and be like, <laughs> This is the movie Jimmy wants for Christmas. Or whatever. <laughs> You sounded like the fucking uh, slut on the Beavis and Butthead Do America bus. I played a slut. <laughs> the slut. <laughs> the slots. Oh, God. That's so funny. God bless. We're going to play some sluts. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, I like those ripoff movies are funny, dude. Like, I remember... Yeah, the you know, Asylum, they're the ones that now make the fucking Sharknado movies. So isn't it found, funny that, that now they have their own, like... Yeah, they found their niche. Their own, like, uh, original thing. Yeah. Now what if there's a shittier company making, like, shark fucking... Whale-nado? Shark, <laughs> ca- shark hurricane? <laughs> shark hurricane. Or, uh... uh shark soon. Shark monsoon. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, cool story, Mark. <laughs> that fake ass background. <laughs> Is that what that was a reference to? No, she said Mark. So oh, did she? That. Doesn't that look like a painting back there? Yeah, kind Is that of real. It looks like it might be like a green screen or something. That is weird. Why is there people walking by it too? Yeah, it's really weird. It looks fake, man. That water's not moving. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a, that a weird way to shoot that scene. Oh, it actually is a picture. That's funny. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. That is kind of cool, actually. Yeah. You know, to do that, it'd be funny to do that in a real movie, and you know, and then you move past, it and it's really just a canvas or whatever. She is fucking cute. What's he thinking, man? What is with these fucking movies where they got a hot chick wanting their cock, and they're like, "No, I want this other chick that doesn't want my cock." He thinks he's too cool, man. Because now he's looking Look at his bulge. Around. That's what I was gonna say. Right now, he's got a fucking potato in his pants. I was, I was about to say that. I want to be like Volgan in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 and just grab it. He and then looks look at my like hand. He had to have been hard. He had to have had a chub during the scene because I noticed it too. And I'm totally straight. Well, I she's swear. Cu she's cute, man. Maybe he did. He wanted to ram it. He wanted should've to ram ran, the man. Ran jammed it. Mm -hmm. That's just something ugly people say. <laughs> Sounds like what he's trying to go into. <laughs> Old-fashioned guy. <laughs> That's a good buck. A lot of good battles in that buck. <laughs> Fucking Remy from... Uh, good road. Good story, too. <laughs> Fucking uh, Check it out higher learning. How I was, I was doing the uh, Pet Cemetery. Yeah, they're all kind of the same fucking character. I was doing high, Remy from Higher Learning. I just got Bark. He say he sounds like that too. He sounds just like Judd. Mm -hmm. Well, I got battle now, Bark. I hope they don't shit all over that new. You know they're gonna fast fast green light that Pet Cemetery remake that one guy wants to do. Yeah, I don't think it'll be good. I don't want to see a Pet Cemetery I, in that same. I, style. I can't see it being as dark as it was back in the day. They wouldn't want to do that. No, I just think it'll be. I think it'll literally be in the style of it. You know, like the same style cinematography, and I think they'll play it safe like that, and I just don't want it. I doubt we'll see like a kid die as graphic. It wasn't even really graphic. Well, they had they, they ripped off Georgie's arm for crying out loud. Yeah, I think you'll still see. You can't take away that scene. It's yeah. so powerful, but I just don't think it'll be good. Mm -hmm. That movie belongs in the year it came out. Mm -hmm. I love how fucking fake Pascal looks. I love it. I don't want that to change. Pascal will be like CGI. Yeah. They'll do what they did to Freddy's face. They'll put like green shit on his head. So that it looks like there's a hole in it. Oh, it's so stupid. Yeah, it's lame. Did you see that uh, Beetlejuice 2 once again has another writer? Does it? <laughs> Is so, it still and, is it still Beetlejuice go, goes Hawaiian? No, Hawaiian style or whatever the fuck, like <laughs> Bayside. No, it's fucking stupid. Uh, no, that was the long dead one. But you know they've been talking about the the interest in Beetlejuice two for like uh, five years now. Mm hmm. And at the time, I think it was 2012 when they first announced it. Whenever they had the Dark Shadows movie, Tim. That's when it started happening. Tim Burton started Shadows, and uh, Tim Burton was interested if the script was good. And then Michael Keaton was definitely interested because he wasn't doing anything at the time. Now the time's right. It's like they need to fake make this fucking movie before Michael Keaton's flame fizzles out again, right? Do it while he's still riding his like wave of kind of being back. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, they had it was like in development. It had scripts. It had everything. Michael Keaton did some brief interviews about it. Said, "Yeah, I read the script. It was really good." Um, that it kind of died off. Hopefully, Michael Keaton doesn't like. Die I don't want that. him to go uh, uh, go away again. Yeah, like remember that movie he did the, where he played the snowman, Jack Frost. Yeah, and he was in the <laughs> he was in the fucking Christmas band. He's like Frosty the Snowman. What about the baby body? Like I had the harmonica and shit. Yeah, and it had a uh, Henry Rollins in it. There will be no mention of snowman in this car. I like that movie. I in a very stupid way I do too, but it's really dumb. <laughs> it's <laughs> dumb. Charlie remember, Boy. That's what I always I, called you, Charlie Boy. Yeah, I remember going to see that movie in theaters, and then, like, I remember that movie took so fucking long to come out on video. 
Seemed like it took at least two years. Because they had to wait till it was a holiday to put it out. Because they can only have it in theaters during the holiday, and they can't release it on video until another holiday, because it's a holiday movie, and they want to capitalize. Yeah. That shit don't happen now. It's in the theater, and then like two months later, you can get it. Yeah, it's and it's like, and not even that. It's like uh, two weeks before it's out on the street, it's on Vudu and on demand, and you can download like on PlayStation, you know, digitally, mm-hmm. really fast. But uh, no, I don't want Michael Keaton to go away either. But for them to sit there and I hate all these clickbait articles. You see people like bloody, disgusting posting, and they always have some generic fucking post like a uh, uh, caption that says. Uh, I can get behind this with the link. Beetlejuice yeah. two gets a new writer. It's always generic like cinema blend. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm good with I, 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 this. Uh, this has me pumped. Some generic fucking thing. I'm like I don't give a fuck what gets this fucking random ass writer pumped. And then it's why is this getting anybody excited? It shouldn't excite you at all that they've got another writer. Like that just means the last one fucking failed, and that one took five years. It's yeah. Like what? Oh, that just doesn't excite me at all. And. uh but I think Michael Keaton still has some juice left because he's playing the main villain in Tim Burton's Dumbo live action movie, which is coming out in 2019. So he's got some that'll buy him some steam. Tim Burton's Dumbo, you know, because they're re- they're doing live action versions of all these Disney movies, right? Yeah, that's funny. It's like, oh, yeah, we're, we're doing the live action version of Lion King. We're going to yeah. have real life backgrounds with CG fucking lions. So it's like it's not really live action if it's not real lions. You're not going to put the peanut butter in the lion's mouth and get him to talk. <laughs> That's what I want to see. What? Yeah, remember that when they used to like get dogs to look like they're talking, like horses? They put peanut butter in their mouths. <laughs> no, I didn't they, know that was the trick. And then they just did vo- it. They, it never matched, <laughs> but they just did voiceover over it. I didn't know that was the trick they used. Yeah. I That's learned funny. that from Dr. Doolittle with Eddie Murphy. You'd know that if you watched that great movie. Ah, fuck Eddie Murphy. But, <laughs> uh, no, dude, so 20, so they're making all those, yeah, they're gonna have Lion King, Beauty and the Beast did Gangbusters, obviously Jungle Book was huge. Isn't that funny that that's now the new wave? Like, even Disney's guilty of the whole remake, rehash and thing. Like, hey, we're just gonna go through all our old anime classics and do remakes. Mm-hmm. You know, live at, and they got they got Aladdin coming out with Will Will Smith playing the genie. I saw the, the new Beauty and the Beast is on Netflix right after they said they weren't gonna put any more things on Netflix. Well, it'll be gone. I don't have any desire to see that piece of shit. Gotta be honest with you. I'll watch it just because that chick's in it. I, I don't think she, I, she's a horrible bell. I don't think I think it's cast all shitty. But I'm saying so. Tim Burton's Dumbo, because God knows Tim Burton. Tim Burton ain't gonna do no Beetlejuice movie, man. He's got his dick so far down Disney's throat, exactly. you know. Or I, I, it should be the other way around. Disney's got their dick so far down his throat. He ain't got time for nothing else. Big budget Disney. He's in bed with them. Um, but Dumbo that'll come out in 2019. And like I said, Michael Keaton will be in that. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. Even though I don't think people ever really like Dumbo that much. The people that all really like Dumbo and made it a classic are all long dead because they're baby boomers. Because that movie's so old. Yeah. I never liked Dumbo, did you? I've never seen it. Yeah, it's so old. It's one of those one that's totally disconnected from the the people today. Like, I don't think anybody that's going to go see a live action Dumbo is going to have any like connection to Dumbo at all. Yeah, I doubt my mom's even seen Dumbo. Like, it's so old. That, that one's just so old. And it's just, I don't think, it's not like Aladdin. Aladdin's perfect for money. Beauty and the Beast is perfect for money. Uh, Lion King's perfect for money. These are all 20, 25, 26 years old. It's it's right in the money spot. Dude, I, Dumbo's. I'm liking the boobage on this chick. Yeah, man. Uh, was that Lauren Hutton? Is that her name? I don't know. She's old. She's old here, man. She's really old now. She's old here? Look at her. She's an old, older woman. Well, see, I could see why Jim Carrey's into her because it's like every teenage boy's fantasy, man. The older, mature woman. Yeah. I mean, leave me alone. I certainly But she bites the dick. Why don't you get it checked that socket nice and tender? <laughs> I want to go into a 1980s changing room. Exactly. I want to go into the place he met this chick if if you just run into these people. She gonna bite the dick again? 
Robin sees us together, I'm in big trouble. Okay, so the thing is, it, maybe he's dating Robin in this. Maybe, yeah. Because it, it sounds like it. Yeah, he's actually dating Robin. My bad. Okay, he's dating Robin, but he's a virgin. She won't give him sex. She's saving herself. Yeah, it's that whole thing. But at the end of the movie, he's gonna, she's going to give it up. And <laughs> How does he not have a boner? Looking at that boobage. She's just gone now. There oh. she is. Did she not see her? Yeah, I know. I actually kind of want to watch this whenever we're done. I was kind of worried, like, I don't know if I'll be able to say anything. I don't remember anything about this movie. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. You used to just come on USA up yeah, all this, night. And this stuff. is one I didn't even know existed until a couple years ago. You never watched it? Not till yeah, just like two or three years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to watch this all the time in like the the early to mid nineties when I discovered it. Probably when I was like in second, third grade. She just pushed that old lady down. I know nobody does anything about it. Oh, he's gonna be drinking blood, isn't he? Is yeah, that he's, dra- it is? he's draining the meat, the blood out of the fucking is real is that what you no, know, see Jim Carrey's gonna drink, he's gonna go and chug it. Yeah. Why did she drain into a cup? For plot convenience. Yeah, exactly. Like just put it down the sink. Yeah. Let me put this in this cup right here. And they just leave it sitting there. Look, you're already starting to look pale. Yeah. Look, yeah. The, the fridge light, my ass. How come he's not squinting at the light coming, the natural light coming through the windows? Yeah, the that, that's got the ultraviolet light. Look, he's looking right out the window, and he's not squinting like he was with the refrigerator. It's kind of like the Lost Boys, where he just has to put on glasses, and he's okay. That'd be all right. Could you live your life if you just had to wear sunglasses like Bono? You could only go out at night. Yeah, that'd be fine. Only go out at night. But no, you could like wear sunglasses during the day, but you just had to wear sunglasses. Yeah. It's it's doing damages to my sinuses. Excuse me? Remember that from uh from Encino Man. Let's get out of here, Rob. And the stench of losers is doing damages to my sinuses. Oh, there he is. She she totally let that happen. Yeah, She's she a did. bitch. And that was totally juice. It looked like juice when he was drinking it. Yeah, whenever it was uh It looked drained. pretty clear. It looked pretty uh Yeah. Well, he couldn't be anemic. Stupid. He's sweaty, he- baby. He didn't want a he didn't want a, a hamburger. Hamburgers are good, man. I'd fuck a hamburger. So is he an ice cream driver? Did I miss that part? Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what he went to the fucking place into. That's what I said. He's he's. It's like uh, nice dreams with Chi Jin Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's a swirly early man from Hey Arnold. Never watched Harry Arnold. What was what was the guy from uh, Pete and Pete's name? He had the swirl, like uh, Mr. Swirly, Mr. Swirly. Yeah, was that it? Yeah. No, it was Mr. Tasty. Yeah, Mr. Tasty. We should I'm do thinking, an episode. I'm of thinking that. Mr. Swirly's on Doug. He's the one yeah. that sells the Nutty Buddy bars. Yeah, Mr. Swirly. We should so do that's an episode. The, yeah. They did a reunion on like. Teen Nick or whatever that was. They shot some new stuff. Remember when I seen that video where they were in the ice cream thing and fucking uh, Butt Neck showed up out of nowhere? Oh, this is modern? Yeah. No. I, I don't remember that. You'll send to me again. I could always use some more Butt Neck in my life. So last night, we watched the worst fucking movie ever. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't bear myself to watch another shitty. What was the movie you recommended we do? And I'm like, I just can't. Oh, I oh saw the, the new Amityville Awakening. Yeah, I saw it streaming for free. Because now that movie's streaming, and we know that's going to be shitty. Nobody would put it out for a reason. Yeah, that sat on the shelf for three, four years. What is There's it? a reason why. I mean, it's just horrible. And then the people that have seen it were giving it just the most horrendous ratings. I'm like, there is a reason. And uh, I couldn't put myself through torture two nights in a row because we watched uh, The Zombie King. 
starring <laughs> starring Corey Feldman and Edward Furlong. You know what's funny is when we sat down to record this one, you you mentioned that, and I it, it like it's like I blocked it out. Like, oh yeah, we did do that. It is. It, it, it almost seems we like did we do that. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the thing is, is the commentary is funny. We but we're not talking about the movie very much. We ran the risk of it being a shitty movie because it was total impulse. Because it's like, wow, no. If we the movie's been out for five years, and if we've never heard of it, none of you have heard of it either. Yeah, that's kind of what made me think, like, dude, they're probably barely in the movie if we haven't yeah. heard of this. Yeah, it's kind of the case. Uh, Feldman doesn't come till the very end. He's like the he's the object of the plot where they're trying to resurrect him, and uh, he's the zombie king, I guess. And then Jim, and then uh, fucking Furlong. No, Furlong you know, was the zombie king. I think is what it said at the end. I don't know. If for, if for a long, he was uh, they, he filmed all his scenes in a day, and they just kind of spliced him and edited him throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just look at that fucking bat, dude. That's a hairy motherfucker. This is the alt. I saw an alternate cover of this movie where it was uh, like Jim Carrey and that fucking get up, and they're on the cover, and he looks yeah. like that, like Bela Lugosi. I saw that. Yeah, I was gonna look and see what the double feature was, what it's paired with. I like the. Uh, I like the Dracula he played in, in Living Color better. Remember I never that? watched that show, really. The only uh, thing I remember from that show is when he played uh, Vanilla Ice. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. I was just thinking about... Uh, <laughs> was it was it that skit? When he played Dracula, I know there was one skit where... It was Dracula came in through the bedroom of the Jamie Foxx character when he was the guy in drag, yeah. um, which was really funny. But wasn't there, maybe it wasn't the Jim Carrey skit, but wasn't there another Dracula skit somewhere, if it wasn't the Jim Carrey skit, where he didn't want to drink, it was a gay guy, and he didn't want to drink his blood? <laughs> Cause of, I, I don't cause know, like, I never seen AIDS. I gotta see, <laughs> he wouldn't drink his blood. <laughs> the one I remember was he was playing Vanilla Ice, and for some reason I want to say they were in a boxing match or something. No, I, I don't recall it. Okay, it's a double feature of Love at First Bite and Once Bitten. Love at First Bite. Blu-ray. Who's in that? Um, George Hamilton. Richard okay. Benjamin, Susan St. James. I don't recognize so, it. Sounds amazing. <laughs> hi, Mark. Oh, yeah, that was a hi, Mark. Dude, nobody ever had Halloween parties like that at school. Yeah. It's, it's so they, they always celebrate these fucking holidays so much more so much better in these TV shows and these movies. Like they never mm-hmm. had these big shebangs, these big Halloween balls, and these. Same yeah. thing with Christmas, they do it too. I mean, you like, didn't even get off school for Halloween. No, and I don't that's, think they that's did a it. holiday you should get off school for. Remember back in kindergarten when you were allowed to bring in, uh, come in wearing your costume. I remember coming in wearing the Power Rangers. I was a Red Ranger. That was before really? Tommy showed up. Oh, really? Because, yeah, it wasn't... Okay. Everybody was a Power Ranger that year. Yeah. Uh, I remember in 1995, Halloween costumes, that's a funny topic. I mean, obviously, we're trying to celebrate Halloween here, but I never had... Most of the costumes I had were, like, DIY. Mom yeah. made my costumes. I remember in 1995, my mom made me a Riddler costume from Batman Forever. Oh, yeah? Because <laughs> I wanted to be the Riddler, man. I didn't even see the movie. I hadn't even seen the movie at this point. I'm not sure. Um, I, you know, I just love the first two Batman movies, and I just knew, wow, I got to see the new one. I didn't realize what shit lied ahead. We need to lay we ahead. Need to do a commentary for that movie. Yeah, I would. It's commentary worthy. But yeah. uh, shit, it was it, like, yeah, I didn't know what shit lay ahead with that. And uh, I, but I had all the uh, Kellogg's uh, cereals. Remember, they had all the promotion stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Um, if you bought Apple Jacks, it had Riddler on the front. Jim Carrey. If you bought Corn Pops, it had Two Face on the front, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we would, I would have to collect those boxes. I'd drive my grandma to buy those. Boxes. Like, can you buy that one? Mm-hmm. I don't. I swear, I don't want it just for a picture. I did. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah. And then I, I wanted to go as the Riddler. So my mom bought, like, a just a blank. It wasn't even green. She bought a black 
uh, sweatshirt. Just a generic black sweatshirt, probably from the craft store. She bought like some gr- hot glue and some like green glitter. And she hot glued question marks all over. Um, I had like black sweatpants and, and a black sweatshirt. And she hot glued uh, question marks all over it and dropped green glitter on them. Right. So I had green question marks all over the black. Mm-hmm. And uh, she bought some like canned spray paint and then fucking did my hair red or orange or whatever the fuck it was. And it was sticking straight up. And she bought like a generic, just black, big black mask like you get, like the the ones that are fat, just the very generic ones. And she yeah. had to cut, it had the string, and she just kind of cut the excess material off to make it like a skinny mask. And how is the Riddler? Green. Um, I can't remember. I, I want to yeah. say that was probably green. I can't, if it was, no, it was probably just bought a green mask, if anything. But I remember, yeah, back in those days, we could wear our costume to school. And I thought I was so cool, man. And I went to school and I'm like, man, I look like a fucking gay lord. <laughs> like, because it's like, I don't I don't know why I thought it was cool now. Because I went to school and everybody's got their sweet store-bought costumes. And I got this fucking <laughs> something my mom made. I'm wearing fucking sweat, black sweatpants, sweatshirt with like fucking glitter. And <laughs> maybe it reminds me of Day Day. <laughs> glitter. Glitter. Shoot in the mouth, yeah. Shoot and on just, the mouth. And yeah, and then my hair is spray painted. I probably look like an idiot, man. She she used spray paint, not hair dye. No, it was like the spray, yeah. yeah. And it made my hair all like stiff and weird. <laughs> so I should needs to get her and the, and his girlfriend Delez out. Hands off! Now she's gonna get all sexy. Look, she's not even pissed. She's just like jealous. Yeah. <laughs> no no one's even questioning this old cougar at a high school dance <laughs> doing this stuff. Like, look at her. She's like half naked. Her exactly. tits are hanging out. Time the boy is mine. Oh, oh there, yeah. here it is, dude. They're gonna do it. Fuck each other. Oh, she's yeah, gonna she's gonna on. slap her pussy with that little whip. Teaser. He's gonna grab her by the pussy. Yeah. Why are they like dancing doing this? I don't know. It is. It's just a big choreographed dance. Look at this. How so they stupid. rehearse this shit? Yeah, what's going on? They should just start fucking there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this dance. Everybody watches. <laughs> Do you see him playing his foot like a guitar? Do you think he has a boner right now? Because he's just grinding up on her. I would. How do these actors not get a boner? They yeah, I remember. To. I remember hearing that like they have to like glue or put something over them whenever they're doing sex scenes and shit, just in case. Is that I gonna help the boner? You're still gonna have a stiff. You're still gonna feel it. Yeah, it's hard to because he that. would. I mean, like if you're an actor doing sex scenes. I mean, even if you're married, and whatever you have to get, you have to get aroused. You have to. Mm-hmm. And some people get aroused very easily. You know, the wind picks up and I get a hard on, you know, sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, amid, amidst all these uh, allegations from the Hollywood, have you seen like... Uh, That's where that <laughs> joke was going whenever I was like, I don't know why they do, but I just dropped it. <laughs> yeah. It's a little Harvey Weinstein shit. Well, do you know, but it's, it's, it's starting to spread like wildfire. Like, not even just... Uh, not even just the it, the people coming out have inspired everybody to start coming out. And everybody's starting to throw people under the bus, um, you know, because it, it empowers people to just start fucking uncovering everything and come forward. And it's I not don't know. Just, it's weird. I'd I, if I was these people, I'd still be embarrassed because it still just makes you look bad too. If you knew this shit was happening and said nothing. Well, I mean, but yeah, but it makes it, it makes it easier when everybody's coming out. Like, okay, that person can, I can't, and it just becomes a big dog pile. But now yeah. it's not even it's not even just the movie industry; um, it's every other industry. Like, the, there was a headline on one of the gaming sites. Somebody from uh, Naughty Dog came forward. Someone from Naughty Dog was doing it, or did, somebody that it? somebody that used to, yeah. That's why well, I didn't read the article, but that's what it was saying. Something, yeah, somebody like an executive at Naughty Dog was doing it to somebody that used to work for Naughty Dog. So everybody's coming out. Like, everybody's just attacking everybody. It's a free-for-all now. My Which if it, gosh. The only thing is, the only thing, the only bad, it's good. I think it's good. Hopefully, I mean, 
everybody exposes everybody for all that stuff. But Hopefully the only- they just fucking drop this shit and they, they start saying it right when this shit happens. Well, I don't ho- feel embarrassed for this shit anymore. Yeah. So well, it's not even just embarrassment. The movie, it's it's the threat of the power of you'll never work in the town yeah, again. Yeah, we need to just drop that shit. Like, But it works because Patricia Arquette, she came out and she said, um, you know, she did. She she rejected Harvey Weinstein and whatever back in the day, and she said he she was blacklisted, and her career was severely impacted for it in the nineties. You know, yeah. and and because so, like he wasn't all talk. You know, it's just like you know, because like I said, the the Weinstein owned a huge chunk of shit, right? It's like that's weird too, though. Like, because you're you're Harvey Weinstein in that case. What do you say to get people to actually listen to you? And like, yeah, don't hire her. She didn't suck my dick when I asked her to. Well, it, when when it's a Weinstein movie, though, like if it's a Weinstein production, like I mean, the Weinstein company is huge. You know, they they owned Miramax and they yeah. own a huge chunk of movies that are that are coming out. So basically, they ain't gonna work for no Weinstein company. They're yeah, not gonna, you know, nothing's gonna. I, yeah, but if they came to like another, like if they came to like Bob Shea at fucking New Line and said, "Hey, she didn't suck my dick when I asked." Hopefully, Bob Shea would have been like, "I don't fuck fuck you." I wonder what people are gonna think of like. uh what was that movie uh, that originally kind of it predated like Friday the Thirteenth that the Weinstein's wrote and directed? I think uh, the Burning. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I think it. I think they wrote it. That was like before like they had a company and shit. Well, and uh, Tom Savini did the effects on it. Hmm. Well, I mean. The thing is, is, everybody's getting thrown under the bus. Now everybody, and this one's kind of a tricky situation, but now everybody that knew about it and didn't say anything. So now everybody's getting thrown under the bus, including the actors that worked with the Weinsteins and stuff that didn't say anything either. Like, they knew his character, and they didn't mm-hmm. say anything. That, that honestly, that's grasping a little bit at straws, you know, because there is, when when you when you get so removed from a direct situation, you know, yeah, it, it becomes tricky, right? I mean, I don't know, but... I want to see Hollywood burn, man. I fucking hate Hollywood. Needs to hit the old reset switch. But, uh, but yeah, so like the Academy Award, the Academy stripped him. He's no longer a member of the Academy anymore today. Um, and what we were the talking. What the fuck is the Academy? They're the ones that uh, are doing the voting. They vote. They, they you know, they're, they have a vote in the Academy Awards. They're part of the Academy. Oh, that's it. Like, he just doesn't have their support anymore. Yeah, he doesn't have their, he's not in the Academy anymore. Motherfucker should go and, to prison. Uh, Huh? Motherfucker should go to prison. He should. Now they're, pre- you know, of course they're going to try and uh, press legal action, which he should. I mean, a guy like that, he needs to lose more than his business. He does. He needs to not be treated like a fucking billionaire or whatever mm-hmm. he is. He needs to be, he needs to make it, uh, but, I, but I love it, man. But if you notice all these, uh, all these celebrities that are getting thrown in the butt, you can't say anything because anybody that says anything, it's putting a microscope under them in there. But there's somebody out there in Twitter land that's like, uh, remember when you did this to me, you motherfucker, you know? Yeah. I'm noticing that people are like, that's happening. But then I see people that are like getting pissed off because actors don't say anything. Like people are just assuming that everybody in Hollywood must have known. They must have known Harvey Weinstein and hang out with him personally. They had to have known why they say anything. But then, but then, but I can understand why they're scared to now because when somebody does come out and condemn something, it's like, um, look at you, hypocrite. Remember, I'm the actress that you squeezed my fucking pussy at this Christmas party back in 1985. Oh, shit. Um, so it's, it's a big witch hunt, but, uh, the, the, the only problem out of this, I think it's good for everybody to expose all shit, but the only problem out of it is people that might falsely accuse in the heat of all this. Because yeah. a, a false accusation hurts the credibility of a real accusation, right? And, and not it doesn't even have to be a false accusation. It could also be people that think that they were blacklisted by heart, by somebody, and maybe they weren't. And maybe it was just kind of the, the luck of the draw. Maybe they stopped getting work. Just there's going to be a lot of there's. I mean, there's going to be a lot of just desserts getting out there, but there's also going to be probably a little bit of unfair stuff too. Uh, that just, yeah. people just get drugged through it too. I mean. I don't know. I don't remember what actor it was. Some actors are getting drugged through the mud just because, like I said, you worked with the Weinsteins and you didn't say anything. And it's like, what mm-hmm. the fuck? Yeah, exactly. I mean, how much I, are you? I see, I wouldn't even expect every, like, I wouldn't just assume everybody that worked with them knew about it. Look at that cleverly placed uh, shower bar. Yeah. Uh, covering up all the, the your goods, Zach. Mm-hmm. They're fucking cock blocking me. 
But, um, no, and then there's the, uh, what was I going to say? What were we just fucking saying, man? My old geriatric mind. Uh, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, I know. All oh, those shower heads look like little cocks. <laughs> they do look like little penises. Uh oh. Why is oh, he on his yeah. hands and knees like that? And now he's looking. Oh, what's he doing? Who fucking does this? Who gets down on their oh, hands? Oh, oh, okay. Is it? Is he? Is he looking for the bite mark? Did he find out his friend might be a vampire? Who gets on their hands and knees and crawls for the soap? You <laughs> lean down and pick it up, or bend. Down. You do not fucking get on your hands and knees and crawl. What the? Fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, they're looking for the bite mark. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, they're all for like I'd just watch them fuck. That'd be funny. <laughs> they say they said fags in the shower, fag alert. Yeah, fags man. in the shower, fag alert. The eighties. Remember that? Like that was just that was all over. Remember they even said it in Bill and Ted on both of those movies. Yeah, those guys are fags. Fags. No way! No way! No way! I was doing fags. I was doing Spicoli. Yeah, <laughs> those guys are fags. Yeah. See, look at the whole no, school. Those no. were gay. <laughs> if somebody thought I was gay at school, I wouldn't give a fuck. I love that. We love you. <laughs> yeah. What's he fags. got there? The secret sauce. You, what if that's Ed's secret formula? Remember that Ed's secret sauce? I always wanted to try Ed's secret sauce from Good Burger. Did you watch that movie? I never watched it, man. Oh, fuck you. I saw that in the theater. I'm not surprised. I was there day one. I'm surprised uh, we haven't done Fright Night. I have it on Voodoo. That would have been a good movie, too. I mean, it's, a, it's, the, it's my favorite vampire movie. Yeah, we should get Josh James introduced to Voodoo, and we can share our movies with him, and he can start sharing. It's a sickness. It really is. It is. <laughs> you look at his slicked hair. Got his hair slicked back. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. I mean, sure, he's touched some children. But come on, Montel. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Dude, this is, how, how can they look at him in the eye, man? You know, whoever grabbed him from behind, you know his dick must have grazed his butt cheeks. What if he got a little hard wherever they grabbed him? I'm sure he did. I'm sure when his him. dick his dick grazes his butt cheeks, it got a little thick. Yeah. That'd be weird. That looked like the clown from fucking, uh... You're gonna die, clown! <laughs> it doesn't reminds, look like him. No, it, it doesn't. Me. It reminds me of a wacky stand. Did you see The Founder with Michael Keaton? Oh, uh, is that the, the Ma- McDonald's movie? The McDonald's no, movie. I That's haven't. on, um... Netflix, yeah. Is it on Netflix? It's on so. one of them. I watched. Yeah, I think it's Netflix. I watched it. It was. Uh, it was good. I don't. I think. I don't think it was like amazing. Um, I mean, it was. It was good. I, I don't think. I just think the story itself isn't like amazing enough to be. It's not like the Social Network where they made a lot really dramatic. But uh, I didn't yeah. like that movie either. I thought it was good. It's not a movie I can watch again. It didn't it, even look like a. It didn't even look like fucking Zuckerberg came out looking like a good. Like he just looked like he ripped people off and he won. So how did uh, how did Zuckerberg like green like that like give permission because it's like it made him look like a bad guy? Yeah, I don't know. It made him look like an asshole. But it's the same thing with Ray Kroc. Maybe they didn't need permission because the McDonald because the McDonald's movie does the same thing. Ray Kroc was it paints him into a bad guy because Ray yeah. Kroc stole the idea and fucking became a billionaire off of it. And the fucking original McDonald's owners that he stole the idea from they got that's nothing. why you never say your ideas out loud because then then they're fucking. They're, they become public domain. Somebody else will just take it. That's why your Ram Jam movie is already dead in the water. Somebody <laughs> <ran after. laughs> that little kid's probably all grown up now. He's on the internet <laughs> listening to our podcast. Because that little kid, that little kid would be, uh, ah, he'd be like seven. He's old enough to be listening to our podcast, probably. Like, yeah, it's my thing. <laughs> this motherfucker, I remember him coming to my school. I told him about the ranch, man. But, uh, yeah, man. I mean, businessmen are shrewd. Yeah, I wonder, uh, 
you watch you watch the social network and his partner didn't get fucked nearly as bad because he still left with like a share in Facebook. Mm-hmm. But it was like a fraction. Like he like like it, it's hard to feel bad for him because he's still taken care of. He's still taken care of. He ain't fucking working. But he's not like he's got a fraction of what what's his nuts does. The McDonald's guys, they have fucking nothing. And like uh there's people like his they're they the original McDonald brothers. Their their grandkids are alive and they don't have anything. They don't have yeah. anything. And of course, I think that's been like subject of like legal matter. Like, you know, we're entitled. You know, like yeah. <laughs> like our gra- you stole this from our grandfather and we should have had this left to us, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh they just totally got fucked. Because McDonald's, they they own more real estate in the entire world than anybody. Because that's the game Ray Kroc got they're into. Fu- they're making this fucking mush that barely qualifies as food. Hey, because that's that the movie gets into that. You know, Ray Kroc, he's um, um but McNuggets are pretty dank, though. <laughs> what? They're all vampires, man. Jason Biggs. Jason Biggs. Jason Smalls. Did you ever deep uh, speaking of like uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about this. You said okay, we said we said Jason Smalls made me think of Biggie Smalls, and Biggie Smalls made me think of Biggie Fries from Wendy's, and then Biggie Fries from Wendy's made me think of dipping your fries in the fucking frosty. And I was gonna ask you because we were just talking about McDonald's, and it's like whoa, now we're back to another fast food. Um, did you ever dip your fucking uh, Biggie Fries in the frosty? I've never had. Uh, why, why do people do that? I don't know. It's stupid. You'd think you wouldn't be able to taste the fry at all because it's just covered in cold, frothy. Was that bucket. like a gimmick? Was that like, like, did they like make a commercial like, yeah, do that? And that just, be- just, that just it just became that thing. Yeah, that everybody did it, and I think they embraced it. You dip your fucking fries in the frosty. Uh, they did that a lot back in the day. Remember, like the commercial that came out around the time the Casper movie came out, and it was uh, the ghosts were eating at Pizza Hut, and Fatso was like eating his pizza backwards, so he's eating the crust first. And they're like, I'm just, uh, he's like, I'm eating my pizza backwards. And then I remember that became a meme for a while. Like, let's eat it backwards. Like, like Vatso did. <laughs> I don't even remember that. But do you think that would be a worthwhile movie to do for Halloween? The Casper movie? I like the Casper movie. I don't know. In why. a weird way, I do too. I, uh, <laughs> it's, I, it's, I even like the second one with the fucking little shit, the little annoying kid. And where Casper looks shittier and more animated. Yeah. And uh, wasn't the bad guy like this big green ghost? Mm-hmm. And then Casper meets Wendy fucking... That was the, the third The shore. One. The shore Liz- was in that. Lizzie McGuire was Wendy. Yeah, I had a crush on her when I was a kid. Polly Shore was in that? Yeah, he had a w- weird little cameo. Oh, a cameo. <laughs> I think that. No, I, I think he played like the bad guy. And I think he was one of the voices on the second one, the the one I, I said before that. Like, he was like a green ghost voice or something. I don't remember what the second one was called. I just barely remember. It was straight I, to video. I, I watched it a couple times as a kid. I haven't seen it. I've seen the, the original. Like, All I know is it had a cameo by Sherman Hemsley. Because yeah, Casper, even... Ca- Casper accidentally scared away some burglars in broad daylight. And then Sherman Hemsley wanted to give him some jerky as a reward. Jerky? Jerky. Fuck yeah. I, I've watched the original like as recently as like three years ago. I still like I haven't seen the sequels as a grown up. I haven't seen uh, the original Casper in in it's been a few years too. I talked to Amy Brenneman, the the person that played Casper's uh, no Cat's dead mom. You know, yeah, I remember you told me she was hot in that movie, baby. Yeah, her husband directed the movie. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's that had. They had Devin Sawa. Devin Sawa, yeah. Can I keep you? Like, what happened to that motherfucker? I don't know. There's a lot of BuzzFeed articles that'll tell you. <laughs> They're always all over Facebook. Whatever he, happened to Devin Sawa? Whatever happened to these child actors? He was in fucking uh, Final Destination. I still like the the original Final Destination. Idle he Hands. He was in Idle Hands. Yeah, I love that movie. I, I have that on Voodoo. I've never watched it. It's good. It's fun. Why? Why is it good? It's just a fun little stoner comedy. It's fun. It's got a uh, Seth Green in it. It's, yeah, it's, it's got Offspring in it. It's got Fulton Reed in it. Yeah. yeah, it's got. I think it was her first appearance by Jessica Alba. Really, she played the love interest. Oh wow! 
Oh yeah, that just got me hard. I mean, they have to know that they're vampires now, right? She had fangs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at her. she's talking to mean games. These vampires, these vampires are pussies, man. Yeah. Are these pizza goons like the Frog Brothers? That tall movie? guy, that taller friend, kind of looks like a fucking young fucking uh, what's his name, Tanner. Danny Tanner. Mr. Yeah, Bob Danny Saget? Tanner. Bob Saget, baby. I forget names so easily. You do, man. I don't know why. Bob Saget gave me twenty bucks one time. I've told you that. The I don't think he did. Why did <laughs> yeah. he give me twenty bucks? Because he was uh he was playing a comedy club I worked at briefly part time one time. And uh I used to I used to serve the comedians in the green room. And uh, you know, talk to them and take their orders and stuff and Nice. I just, he slipped me. He, he, I, I just, I don't know. I one time, I, he made me go get him some. He asked me if I can get him a cup of milk. I brought him a cup of milk, and he gave me a. He put a twenty dollar bill in my front pocket. Did you like let him put it in your G string? <laughs> I told him though. I was like, "Oh man, Bob Saget, I gotta tell you, you are in the greatest show of all time, Quantum Leap." <laughs> what did he say? He's like, well, seriously, because you know his act. He always he just makes tons of Full House jokes, right? His whole career is yeah. Full House and, and all stuff. And then and it, everybody's Full House, this Full House, that. So like when I said that, it was almost like pause, and I was like, "Fucking Quantum Leap!" And I was, I literally said, "Fuck Full House, Quantum Leap is where it's at." I'm just yeah. joking. And uh, and he's like, "Fuck!" He's like, he goes, he go, he literally, he said, um, he's like, man, I haven't fucking thought about that in years." I like he <laughs> forgot because for him it's just an acting job. He had a guest spot on one episode of Quantum Leap in fucking 1988 or something. Yeah, but, you know uh, what's funny is I never watched that show growing up, and right around the time I started watching it on Netflix, it, they took it off. So I got like two episodes. It's in. a great show, man. I fucking love that show. It's it's Riverman and my favorite show of all time. Mm-hmm. And so like yeah, so for me it's like Bob Saget. He was in one episode of Quantum Leap. Oh my god, where he played a stand up comedian. <laughs> Remember that time they made fun of him on South Park? They were like. They were like making fun of funny song videos. And oh, yeah. It was like, and here's no, a video it, of a little dog crossing the street. He's like, oh, oh, I'm a little dog. Oh, I'm going to cross the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're just like, they couldn't find out what was funny. I think the grandpa was laughing. <laughs> that is how he did it, though. He did, he did the little voiceovers. <laughs> yeah, he did. I think I'm going to go down there. Yeah. He's not funny. His stand up <laughs> is not funny at all. <laughs> did you tell him that? <laughs> No, I didn't tell him that to his face. <laughs> I watched his fucking set all weekend long, like two shows on Friday, two shows on Saturday, two shows on Sunday. I was pretty tired by the first set. I'm like, I got it. I got I got it. I'm, I'm good. I get your set. And uh, yeah, just, he, it's not He funny. should just become one of those guys that just kind of talks. It doesn't really put emphasis on coming up with Everybody jokes. thinks he's dirty and he's not like a dirty con- He just, it's, yeah, he cusses a lot and stuff and he says, but it's not like, he's not a vulgar. He's just, it's a silly comedian. Like he says yeah. dirty stuff in a silly way. It's like mm. dick and fart jokes and pussy jokes. You ever see it, that movie, The Aristocrats, that documentary? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like dumb. a fucking a, an hour and thirty minutes long about the most unfunny joke ever. Is that what it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be the most unfunny joke ever. No, I think it's supposed to be this great joke, and I'm I think it's supposed like, to be the dirtiest joke ever. Is what it is, like the dirtiest, most raunchiest joke. And it's like, wow, this is ho- horrible. The, it's the, like. The, the punchline is we're the aristocrats. It's like I don't get it. And doesn't doesn't uh, Bob Saget tells the main big part, doesn't he? Yeah, th- th- there was a special feature of him just telling the joke. And that's where you can just hear the joke unedited all the way through. And I was like, I don't get it. Yeah, it's not that funny to me. But it was funny because it was like it's a an hour and 30 minute long documentary about a, a joke that wasn't funny. So I'd always, I'd describe that to people like, you ever see the aristocrats? And they always liked my description of it better than the actual movie. Yeah. I watched it once and I regretted it. I'm like, wow, I wasted my time. One documentary I really like about like show business is that movie. Uh, not yet rated about the uh, MPAA. Oh yeah. Did you ever see that? Nope. That was hard. that's hard to find now. Like I was gonna buy that on DVD recently, and it's like out of print. What's so cool about it? It's just really I watch it. I like to watch it every like at least once a year. It seems like it's it's really entertaining. And just like the weirdness that goes on with the with the organization. It's just like 
they just get some uh, random parents to do this, and it's, they talk about like just the inconsistency of like whenever they fucking like it's okay to have uh, you know like a man and woman kiss and have like a little sex scene it'll be rated r but if it's like two women kissing and having a little sex scene it's like automatically nc-17 it's just like little weird like yeah one fuck word you can get a pg-13 but two fuck words no thanks yeah like what's the difference you say you say you say fuck in the movie so a kid heard it what's the difference if they say it twice yeah and and these people they like keep their identity secret and they kind of stake out and and kind of they find the people that are kind of in the uh, rating. Is that Steven Dorf? I'm sorry. to That one of those vampires. Is that Steven Dorf? Was it? Look at that third one. The short guy. Maybe. That's him. Did you ever see The Gate? No. It's got a little Steven Dorf. I think that was his first movie. You never seen The Gate? It's right up your alley, man. About some kids that like listen to heavy metal and they play the record backwards. And you were like, telling oh. me about this we were, uh, some weeks ago. Yeah, we were talking about it. It sounded like it's up my alley. Yeah, it was fun. It, it, I liked it a lot better when I was a kid. There's a lot of stop motion animation and there's little creatures that come out of this gate that opens up in this backyard and shit. I always remember the, the scene where he gets an eyeball on his hand and he uses like a fucking stick or something to to stab into it is, is like seared into my mind. <laughs> That's like uh, Hocus Pocus. I never, watched, I never watched Hocus Pocus, man. No. Holy everybody, shit. I know everybody. I mean, I've seen pieces of it and everybody watched it in the nineties. I just, it just missed me. Ice. Oh. Yeah, I, oh, I, yeah, I'm familiar with that because that's been going around for a long time. And and Bobo, Bobo, I'm in trouble and stuff like that. <laughs> Just different scenes I remember. <laughs> you know, the fucking bus driver, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Stay with he got, he's screwing that chick in the coffin, babe. <laughs> they can't both fit in that coffin. How are they actually like? Being able to have sex with a rock and like they're just yeah. Like, why wouldn't straight. you just leave it? Why wouldn't you just leave it open? Why just bend her over it? it? Yeah. Man, I, I'm going to, after this is done, I'm going to go uh, visit my brother, and uh, we're going to go play Super Nintendo, any, Super NES Classic. I've yet to play my Super NES Classic, but he, he got one, too, and uh, he's already yeah. hacked it. He hacked it today. Cool. Yeah, and it, he said he said it was easy. He's like, it was super easy, like I've read it was. Um, took a little time, but he said it was easy, and he's like, it's legit. It's like all these games are on here, and it looks just like the same interface. So it's it, like all the games. He, he, obviously, the storage space caps off, right? Of the thing. Yeah. He said I was able to fit. Let me see how many games he got on there. Because um, I read online somebody got about two hundred. He's like, no, I didn't get two hundred. He told me what he got. He got. Uh, Dude, but, if I all if I could get fucking turtles in time on there, I'd come. He's got all of them. Yeah, he got. Um, come on, where is it at? Hundred and. Hold on, a hacks, come on. He got a total of 162 games on it. Is as full as he can get it. And yeah, he got all of them. He got the. He's got like the Turtles in Time. He's got like the Power Rangers. He's got Don Kong Two and Three. And and I've seen videos on YouTube of people that did it successfully. And he says it's just like that. It's 100. percent You're scrolling through, and the interface is the same. Like it's like you got all these extra games on here. That's awesome. And it looks legit. It doesn't look like all fake and hacked. It looks legit. Like you're scrolling through the Star Fox that's on there. Your Don Kong Country. And it's like that's already on there, and you, right next to it's Donkey Kong Country Two with a picture and a how do you, hold it. How do you find out how to do it? Like, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to his house tonight, and I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna see where, where what did you follow? Where's the tutorial he followed? He's like, yeah, I just followed the tutorial and I did it. And uh, I might bring mine over there too. Maybe he can uh, help me, or I'll do it tonight. But uh, I didn't want to hack it, but I've heard this thing is super easy to do. Like, there's like no threat to doing anything to your system. Yeah, it's just as easy as like uh, it's just dumb. But I'm going to check his out. Piece of cake. Piece of crumb cake. Piece of crumb cake. Um, yeah. But uh, <laughs> the thing is, is my first time actually playing the Super NES Classic now is going to be his hacked version, and it's going to ruin mine. So now I have to do mine, too. I've been playing mine, yeah. I, I, I'm having fun. It's it's nice to have the control. I haven't held that controller in years. But can you imagine, though, like my first time playing, it's going to be like when there's 162 games in this thing. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to go home to mine finally. Be like, 
What the fuck is this? You, you might as well just, like, I'm sure he could just drag it, make a copy and drag and drop everything onto yours, too. Yeah, so I might just bring my little thing. <laughs> That's what's so cool about him. Is I can just really shove it in my pocket. It's not a big yeah. hassle to bring over. It's like a Burger King fucking It's toy. nifty. I, I wish the cords were a little longer, though. Yeah, but you can buy, uh, I'm sure there's people that buy, that have already extensions that you can buy. I think yeah, I have a long enough HDMI cord so that I can set the system on my bed. And yeah, and I got a huge, I got a big, I got a big one too. That's just way too big for anything else. And I never knew what to use it for. And now it just serves a purpose. Great. Yeah. Um, look at all these fucking vampire movies, Rockula. Um, <laughs> oh, there's Timo too. Um, anyway, once bitten, eh, it's been a long time since I've seen it. Yeah. I'm kind of with you where I want to watch it just kind of by myself again. Dream a little dreams on here. Yeah, terrible, well, terrible fucking movie. I've never watched it, man. <laughs> never watched. It's it. so cheesy. Oh, H two O was on here. Halloween Resurrection. Fuck that. Down to Earth. That's another fucking movie. Speaking of movies where they go to heaven and then come back and yeah, there's like a million of them, man. It blows me away. <laughs> it's just so many of them. But uh, anyway, let us know what you think about Once Bitten. I know we didn't talk. We didn't really bring the facts with this one. We didn't really yeah, look up. That that's why I like to uh, have watched the movie kind of recently, so so I could kind of remember where all the where to bring these up. But yeah, hopefully people enjoy it, listening to us, just kind of using it as a backdrop and just talking about whatever. Yeah, it's totally fine. But uh, interesting, uh, it definitely beats uh, fucking Zombie King, mm-hmm. and it's not the worst Jim Carrey movie. What, what, what would you say is the worst? Um, Grinch Stole Christmas, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, no, probably that one movie where he was like gay with you and McGregor. Never seen that. <laughs> where they're like fucking prison fuck buddies. Cool. It's like an indie movie. Yeah, it has on Netflix. Did it show them fucking each other? I, I think it had like, kid, I don't know. There was, yeah, there's certain scenes in it because it wasn't a comedy. Oh, you know. God. Yeah, oh. go ahead and watch it. And Have you ever played the ukulele that came out? You know, I, I know it came out a while ago, and I it just got such bad reviews. I still kind of want to play it, but I heard that it's just a big barren wasteland. Like, there's not enough in the levels. Like, and it oh, got really? to, Yeah, I mean, it looked great, but these levels are just like, wow, there's just like a lot of nothing going on in these. And it kind of got to, And it's so funny because they announced a switch like collectors big collectors edition and it's like what the fuck you guys kind of missed the boat on this your game's already been out for six months and everybody shits on it why would you release a collector's edition of this no one's gonna buy this um mm. but who that's knows? too bad it is too bad man it is too because i fucking love the original banjo oh, I, I i really hope that the same fate doesn't happen to bloodstained oh yeah when's that coming out a, yeah we're still waiting on that did you ever get a chance to play the Oxium Verge, that game I told you about that's like Metroid? No, I didn't. That's coming out on the I'm still Switch trying to beat too. Metroid Samus Returns, man. I, it's great. I really like it. I I game. got to put I got to put another hour into it last weekend. That's how slow I move, but mm-hmm. um it's okay. This is the first time usually I have like one day off where I have like one complete day. We definitely need to do another uh, fucking retro rampage to talk we're, about games. Again. No, we are going to do it. So it's like uh, we we're going to decide on a on a on a game we want to do. There's a bunch of stuff. I kind of want to do one with the 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 backdrop of us playing Sonic Mania or the Mega Man Legacy Collection Two. Or um, we had a couple of things we threw out there, like Resident Evil, uh, mm-hmm. whatever you know. So we should do those. Um, and we could stream things like uh, the Resident Evil game with on PSN, right? And Sonic Mania and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect, man. And games like that, Sonic Mania would be a great little game to bullshit. Resident Evil, I don't know. I think maybe that's a game we are we gonna play like all the way. Through? Like if we do that, like I feel like we have to finish it and do like uh, multiple. You know, I don't know. Yeah, or to. maybe not. I don't know. But like games like Sonic work, like the Shovel Knight worked really well. Um, but no, man, I'm down to do that whenever, whenever you wanna, you wanna, you're ready to do it. I don't have yeah. time to do one tonight, but uh, maybe uh, the next time we record, we'll do one and we'll uh, we'll get all this game stuff out of the way. And I'll tell you what, I'll give you guys my full review of the uh, SNES Classic Hacked. So yep. anyway, uh, follow us on all the social medias and all that bullshit, revivalhouse.net. Uh, and also subscribe on YouTube, comment. Thank you for all the comments everybody uh, has been giving. We, we I love reading the comments and uh, 
you know, uh, it's so funny. I'm not going to even mention it. <laughs> we got a. It makes me laugh because. Oh yeah, go go ahead because I had a, a one to add to it. It's great. You know, uh, there's this um this viewer or listener. Um, he goes under the name Fiscal Conservative, and he's got. We, a, fi- we finally got somebody shit talking us, but he fucking bitched out and deleted it. So <laughs> no, it's like I, it didn't happen. Yeah, I don't know. So I mean, I still get the alert, so I'm I'm okay with saying what the negative feedback was. I don't care. Um, but what it was here, let me check it out. I, I embrace all feedback. I don't care. And I, you know, I, I thank, uh, fiscal conservative, uh, for listening. No, the first comment, um, he put what a lame and boring commentary, quote unquote, no thanks on the Friday, the 13th, uh, episode we did for the, yeah. uh, the series. And then he also followed that with. Um, the TV show is interesting and entertaining. The same can't be said for your lame and boring quote unquote commentary. <laughs> and this is all on the Friday the 13th, the series episode we did. And then so he deleted, two- then he deleted them. And then one hour later he replaced them with, this was a great TV series. Each season got progressively better. You he's know got- what I, you know what I take from that? I take that. He, he kept listening and he's, he, we charmed him. He yeah, well, to he totally removed the feedback of us and just kind of kept it right <laughs> on the show because the other comments were, wow, the show is great. Can't say the same about your fucking shitty comments. And then he kept and then it just became the show's great. <laughs> he just totally took out us. So the show, I was, mean, the show was good. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good TV series. But no, I appreciate the feedback. So that's totally cool. Um, we're not going yeah, for everybody. It kind of. Yeah. I, well, anybody just. Let us know what you think. If if you think if you had constructive criticism, let us know and we'll we'll see if we can I'd be interested to know what fiscal conservative uh thinks why we're lame. Mm-hmm. You know, that's cool. I mean Because we're call. not fiscal conservatives too. Yeah, I mean, come on, that could be it. We don't have sweet avatars of us standing in front of an American flag. Exactly. But uh no, seriously, like if you want to say if you guys have criticism of why we suck Tell us why we suck. You're sick and tired of Zach's gay jokes? Tell him. <laughs> I might not listen to it, but you can still tell me. Yeah, we, we're not going to really change for anybody. I don't give a shit. Yeah, we yeah, a similar thing happened uh, on my Jetpack Wolf YouTube channel because, like, whenever I'd make, like, the, the promo videos for, like, uh, Mac and Zach and then the couple we made for uh, BTM, like, I would mirror them on that channel. Just in case, like, because because I had kind of put them there first to see if they got like a copyright strike. I was doing that for a while, but then after I realized that like you can just add other people's videos to uh, the playlist, I stopped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't have to do it anymore, so I, I just uploaded it once to the BTM one. But for like, I think it was the uh, the Ninja Turtles uh, commentary like promo. You ever hear of the the kid State of Daniel? He's like a conservative YouTuber. No. He like commented on one of them and he was like, uh, he, and just like the other guy, he commented, I could read like the first couple like words in it and then it, I, I'd go to it and it was gone because he deleted it. And I was like, damn it. Why'd you do that? I'm looking at this kid right now. State of Daniel. He commented on the turtles one. Yeah. Interesting. I'll see if I I'll, I'll, I'll log into that uh, YouTube channel and see if I still have the little bit of. You could probably see it in the alerts, like where the the alerts, the activity. Yeah, because I don't have I, I disabled that to send me a copy of it via email whenever somebody comments. Gotcha. So what would you remember what he said? Precisely. Um, I think he s- started out saying, I seen you comment on other videos or something. So he probably saw me trolling some kind of conservative other YouTuber or something. Cause I like to troll people on the, <laughs> he probably just got pissed off. I don't know. I just, it's just a wild guess. It was something like that. Like so I he was attacking you. you. I, yeah, I couldn't read it though. That's funny, man. I'm looking at his channel right now. Not my cup of tea. Not my couple couple tea. Not my cup of tea. Um, I don't want to hear politics from a 15 year old or whatever this guy is. But uh, you ever hear of Caden Cowgirl? No, it sounds hot. Well, that, I call him Caden Cow. His oh, real name is Kate. His real name's Caden Cowger. Oh, okay. and he he's like a concert. He's like 15. He he does this Rush Limbaugh voice like this. Like I, I like listen. I like watching his videos. It's funny. 
What's his fucking name? Caden Calger. Cal. How do you spell it? Because it's not coming up. I can't fucking spell it either. I always kind of like <laughs> fucking just guess it. And then it'll yeah, say, Did I you? can't. It's it's not pulling up. So I'm doing something wrong. Uh, but anyway, whatever. Uh, so as usual, if you guys are listening to this on uh, YouTube, appreciate the feedback. Also leave that same feedback on iTunes. Uh, if you guys dig us, we'd appreciate the five star ratings. And remember, we're on Stitcher now, too. Um, so definitely check out these podcasts on iTunes or Stitcher. Uh, for both you Apple and uh, uh, fucking Android users. Android. Yeah, because on those, we can be as stupid as we want. We don't have to filter anything. We don't have to edit anything. YouTube, we, we all know Google's a bunch of Nazis. We have to pretty much strip out the uh, audio of the films. Um, we can't do all the neat little intros and outros and ear candy and anything copyrighted we can't put into it. So definitely worth a shot to go check us out over there. And, uh, the podcasts usually go up earlier as well on iTunes and Stitcher, but that's all we got for now until next time. Are you good, Zach? Are you good? Anything else? I'm good. Any more Blame shitty, up. any more shitty YouTubers you need to promote? Nothing I can think of. All right. Bye bye puppets.